We've all got our hobby heroes, those that sparked our interest in the hobby or gave us our first taste of tabletop victory or defeat. It's not often that you get to meet them, let alone play them. However, today Nick gets to do just that. Carl of Independent Characters fame is here in studio with his thousand sons to square off against Nick and his Astra Militarum. This is 40K in 40 Minutes, Hero Hammer Edition. Greetings, 40K fans, and welcome to this very special episode of 40K in 40 Minutes. Your host, JT, the voice of Play On, and today's match promises to be a display of gentlemanly warfare. Our very special guest is Carl from the Independent Characters Podcast. Today I'm playing against, to be honest, one of my hobby heroes. Carl's one of the reasons I'm playing Warhammer today. So I'm Carl Tuttle, the main host of the Independent Characters Podcast. I come from the Bay Area of California, and I've come up to play on tabletop to deal with Nick and his Imperial Guard. Carl Tuttle started the Independent Characters Podcast way back in 2010. The show has evolved over the last dozen plus years, but has always maintained its core values of making listeners feel like they were a part of their gaming group. Welcome to the studio, Carl. I've followed Play on Tabletop for quite a while. It's actually, I really, really enjoy the type of report they do. I've watched Nick lose a bunch. The studio is incredible, and everybody here has been incredibly warm and welcoming to me, so I really do appreciate it. Our Nick is ready to play spoiler to the warm welcome that we've rolled out for Carl, however. Guard Nick today, Commissar Nick, if you will. I've brought a list that's gonna be a lot of fun. He's brought his Astra Militarum and looks to banish Carl's Thousand Sons back to the war. Speaking of Nick, his army consists of Acadian Castellan with a Drill Commander upgrade and a Commissar with Kurov's Aquila, as well as a Death Corps Marshal. He's also got a Tank Commander with Grand Strategist and Ursula the Creed as his Warlord. He's got a big squad of Cadian Shock Troops, a big squad of Death Corps of Krieg, and a smaller squad of Death Corps of Krieg, another infantry squad, this time with some heavy weapons teams, a big squad of Attilan Rough Riders, a Hellhound, 10-man Kazakhan Squad, a Lehman Russ Exterminator, a Lehman Russ Vanquisher, a Rogaldorn Battle Tank, and two Scout Sentinels. That Rogaldorn Battle Tank can bring some serious gunpowder to the fight, but I'm wondering what Nick's Vanquisher is going to do. His track record with it isn't that great. Really tank heavy. I love the Rogaldorn. And I've also brought the Exterminator because that extra AP on everything else is just awesome. Squaring off against Nick's Astra Militarum are Carl's Thousand Sons. I'm playing Thousand Sons with an allied contingent of Zeech demons with them. I did bring some firepower to deal with his tanks. He's got Aramon on a disc of Zeech, as well as an exalted sorcerer on a disc of Zeech. Three five-man Rubric Marine squads form the bulk of his forces, a 10-man squad of Zagors, 2,000 Sons Rhinos, a Mutilith Vortex Beast, Scarab Occult Terminators, a 1,000 Sons Land Raider. Man, I love seeing Land Raiders on the table. A Thousand Suns Predator Annihilator, two squads of Flamers, and two squads of Pink Horrors. I think that Land Raider, with its Soul Shatter Last Cannons, can do some serious work against Nick's tanks. If he's able to get shots off early, he could pop two or three of them, and Nick would be in some serious trouble. This could end up being a tank battle before you know it. Today's deployment is Search and Destroy, table quarters with five objectives and long board edges as their home edge. Our mission today is Scorched Earth, so players can raise the No Man's Land objectives or their opponent's home objective for extra points. And our mission rule today is Chilling Rain, so no additional effects. Carl, welcome to the studio today. I'm excited to play with you today. I'm excited to be played with. <laughs> <laughs> This episode is brought to you by our friends at Deadly Print Studios. Designers of 3D in-game effects from explosions and shield strikes to flame gouts and bolter muzzle flashes, Deadly Print has everything you need to bring your battlefield to life. Whether you want just the STLs or pre-printed and ready to go, Deadly Print has got you covered. Check out the new line of visual effects and decorations for Tyranid models from the Leviathan box set. They've also got Space Marine ones that match up with, you guessed it, everything from the Leviathan box set. We love Deadly Print Studios and all the cool visual effects that they come up with and absolutely love putting them on our armies. Make sure to check them out at the link below. Now, back to the action. All right, you ready to see who deploys first? I'm gonna roll the orange dice here. Four. I did not want that. I'm gonna let you deploy the first unit then. Carl's decided to put all of his Rubric Marines inside Rhinos and he's got his Terminators inside the Land Raider. The demons are going into Deep Strike Reserve. Next place is Krieg Marshal with a 20 Guardsman as well as a Commissar. One Sentinel is in reserve. The Cadian Castellan is with a 20-man infantry block and Ursula the Creed is with the Cadian Shock Troops. I need to be in position to move forward quickly, so I'm gonna try to utilize the terrain as much as possible. Start with uh, Rhino over here with 
five-man Thousand Suns unit in it. I've got to be a little bit careful. My infantry are weak. I've got to position just right to benefit from all those different orders and all those take aims to maximize my shots. My secret plan is to run as fast as I can and hit you with horses. This Mutalith Vortex piece, just about as far forward as I can. Auto Cannon Sentinel down. Great Zangors here. I'm gonna put all of my Kassark in up here on this uh, this rune here. They should be able to hide pretty good here. So there's two squads in here, two five-man squads in this. Simple 10-man unit of Creed Guardsmen. Our lander here. Also in here is a five-man squad of Scarab Occult Terminators and their Sorcerer. I'm gonna put the Hellhound right here on the line. Predator Annihilator. I'm gonna put a Vanquisher Cannon back here. Aramon is going to sit right here. Big giant blob of Krieg Guardsmen. Final Exalted Sorcerer. It's just me now, right? The Exterminator, or Lehman Ross, is gonna go on the line right here. Throw a Demolisher Cannon back here. A Rogal Darn. Having a look at deployment here, both players have deployed far back. Nick because he can, and Carl because he kinda has to. Nick's got a ton of guns, and I expect them to come to bear very quickly, but how effectively they do so is gonna be up to the dice. Carl has a lot of targets for Nick, and no real linchpin to the army. Nick will have to chew through a lot of units to really try and stem this tide of Thousand Sun Traders. Do you wanna go first or second? I definitely wanna go first in this battle if I can. If I can pull off a first turn move, I can at least get my guys into position and start moving forward. I would like to go first too, let's see what happens. First will give me a distinct advantage of trying to delete as many things as I can with shooting. Ah, four? Ah! Ugh. Looks like Nick has got first turn. This could set the agenda for the entire game. Let's see what happens. Good luck, Carl. Good luck. Nick's drawn, deploy homers and no prisoners. He's ordered take aim on the Dorn and the Vanquisher, giving them plus one to hit. The Cadian Castellan has ordered move, move, move to get out to do that deploy homers. And Ursula Creed gives move, move, move to the Rough Riders, so they're gonna be vaulting across the table. Then we go into my movement phase. So we're gonna start with these guys right here, nine inches, which gets me within range of that objective. Looks like Nick's setting up for a first turn charge with those Attil and Rough Riders. Man, those horses are fantastic. Nick really doesn't need to move his units up very far. He's in range to deploy homers, and he just needs to kill stuff for no prisoners. That's fairly easy to score with. So that scout sentinel, is it gonna declare this as his target for yeah. his ability daring recon? Anything that shoots at that vortex beast, rerolls hit rolls of one. We're gonna start off the shooting phase with the Hellhound. Now it's out of range of its big giant flamer. However, it's got a heavy bolter, and that heavy bolter is 36 inches. Hits three times. The Land Raider has lost cover and it takes two wounds. A Vanisher Cannon is gonna fire just everything into that Land Raider. Laz Gun, or Laz Cannon, it does not wound you. Let's go with the Vanquisher Battle Cannon. One shot, three is because of taking. So there's a two. Ah! It's a D6 plus six damage weapon. The Plasma Cannons are out of range. Then we're gonna go with the Exterminator Cannon and he's gonna fire everything into the Vortex Beast. The Exterminator Auto Cannon has four attacks. It is hitting on fours, hits you once. Okay and I have not wounded you. Then it has a Laz Cannon, which has hit and has not wounded. And I have a Hunter Killer Missile that has hit and has not I'm wounded. I'm detecting a theme here, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Heavy Bolters hits once, but I do get to reroll the ones because yeah. of Sentinel. Uh, so that's two hits into no wounds. Oh, that Mutalith is tanking shots and not really feeling it at all. One thing Sturmer does get to do though, now that he's targeted something, that thing is now an additional AP for anything else that shoots it. The cast are gonna fire into that unit as well. They've got take aims, so they're gonna hit on twos. Plasma rifles are gonna overcharge. Yeah. I don't think I'm ever not going to be. Plasma rifles, hits once, but and they get to reroll ones. 
I hit twice. <laughs> Overcharging. No wounds. Okay. Do either of them blow the brains out? No. And then two crack grenades. Yep. Hits you twice. You wounds you once. Nope. D3 damage, one damage. Feel no pain. Likes that. <laughs> and then some last guns for you. <laughs> There's some hits. Hit all but one. Hitting on twos is great. Yeah. Wounds you once. Still five up. Feel no pain. Makes feel no pain. You failed me for the last time, Kasukin. A pressure cannon from the door now, but only three damage. What is that? <laughs> wow, this has been really bad. Coaxial auto cannon hits you twice. Wounds you one. Five up. So here's the five up feel no pain. Oh, he's gonna take three more. Now he's down to seven. Oh, the Butyleth is tanking everything like crazy. Heavy bolters. I got one sustained, one reroll, and two fails. Uh, no wounds from heavy bolters. Heavy stubbers. Uh, nothing. Horsey las guns. Eat las guns. Rerolling ones. Sixes. Three wounds at AP one. Five up, one, and then two feel no pains. Looking for fives. Getting one, so I take one more wound I'll to six. He brought me down. I still have one more thing, and it can do it. The scout sentinel has an auto cannon. Two shots. I hit one of them. It wounded. It does three damage. That was one failed feel no pain. Here's the other two feel no pains. Uh, yeah, so I take all three. <gasps> it has a hunter killer missile. <laughs> I've got a lot to deal with here. Uh, it doesn't wound. Nick using a command point to reroll the wound, but the mutilist lives. He is well, down to two wounds. So that is it for my shooting phase. Not amazing. So I'm gonna go in the charge phase. Rough Riders declaring a charge into the Zangors. He needs a five and he gets a 12. Carl responds with overwatching with that mutilist. Solid move there. It's a six. Gonna wound on threes. Three, Three wounds at AP minus one. And two go through, so you've killed one of them. Ooh, it's time to make some goat kebabs. Goat lances go first and two of them are dead. The frag tips get 32 attacks. Those are some seriously dead Zangors and that's two no prisoner points for Nick. This unit right here is deploying teleport homers in the center. Nick scored two for no prisoners and three for deploy homers. He is at five secondary points as he ends his first turn. Neither player has a command point, but that's gonna change as we head to Carl's turn one. Carl starts this turn with five Cabal points. He draws secure no man's land and cleanse. For each round, my Thousand Sons get to pick a kindred sorcery as part of my detachment pool. He's chosen Malevolent Charge, so that's gonna give lethal hits for all psychic weapons. Take that, all you high toughness models. Hey, quick Battleshock test on that Vortex Beast for me. He's good. Nick's really stuffed Carl in his own zone here a bit, but he's got some serious durability. Now I gotta start moving. Here come the T-Sons. So now I'm gonna enter shooting phase. I'm gonna start with Armin. He uses Psychic Stalk, which is uh, 18 inch range, one attack. Hits on a two plus, D6 wounds. Hits. Uh, strength six, fails to win. Rhino right here. Inferno Combi Bolter, rapid fire two. One hit, strength four, toughness four. One wound, AP minus one. Goes right through, one damage I believe. And this horse is down to one wound. Well, then they fired the Havoc Launcher, D6 attacks, three attacks, one more shot for blast. So I'm gonna get four. So wounding on threes, one wound, no AP. Save it. But we are gonna fire the Havoc Missile Launcher, the Combi Bolter, and the Heavy Bolters into these guys. Laskins are actually gonna go into your- The Hellhound! The Hellhound. Here's the Havoc Missile Launcher, number of shots, three, hitting on threes. One hit oh, again. No. Hey, I Three. And it goes through and you've killed this horse. Shots from the bolter. Two hits. No wounds. And then the heavy bolter hitting on threes. Two hits. It's on threes. Oh no. Soul Shatter Laskin hitting on threes. Two. Wow. Two hits. Two. I've got cover from this little edge here. Sure. So two four ups. All right. One goes through. Take six wounds of 11. I have 
five wounds remaining. Now I'm gonna shoot the Predator. And the Twin Link last cannon to fire over here. Two last gun shots into this. Two fours. Two fours. Two fives. Nope. One goes through. Can the Hellhound get popped? It can, and it explodes. The Hellhound goes kaboom and kills four of those guardsmen. Here's the Twin Link shot. Give me a fours each. A three is good enough, thanks. Yeah. Ah! Carl, rerolling the wound versus the exterminator because twin link, and he hurts it. Three damage, I have 10 wounds remaining. This squad here yeah. is going to fire into this unit here. Got it. Spending his command point here on ensorcial infusion, a psychic keyword, and strength five for all of the infernal weapons, and now lethal hits too. So here's the bolter, so hitting on threes. Those horses are getting hurt, but the rolls are super low. Over here. Ooh, Ursula Creed lets those cars get go to ground, and Nick still loses four. I got a firing deck over here, which I neglected. Let's try to kill a couple horses. Yeah. Hitting on threes. All hits. Four. Two wounds. Save one. One goes through. Killed one more. The exalted sorcerer, who's been kind of over here overseeing what's going on, arcane fire. It's a ranged weapon. Goes 18 inches. It's a psychic ability. Targets this group, ignores cover, and it's a torrent weapon. It's a D6 number of attacks, hitting at strength six with an AP2. Four attacks, doing a D3 wounds each. <laughs> Three wounds at AP minus two. And fives. I save one. Sergeant might as well go down. I'm gonna take off one of the grenade launchers. Keep the guy with the Meltamine, because that Meltamine does two D3 mortal wounds to vehicles. I'm finally getting the, the Vortex this Beast. This is my last shot, and because he's only got two wounds remaining, he has to subtract one from his hit. The Warp Vortex Beam, 24 inch range, it's firing here. Needs a four better to hit. It does not happen. This is a bit of an abysmal shooting phase. I was hoping for a bit more, but let's see what he can do in the charge and fight phase. This squad here is gonna charge into this squad here. So I'm gonna roll a nine. I'm not. Yeah, the Vortex Beast is gonna charge into your guy. So I need a six. Of course it is. A six. Wow, <laughs> yeah, you got in! That Mutalith should do some serious work. Done with my charges. I have to go with the four damage attack. There, there it is. go. Four hits, what is wounding on threes. threes. Yeah. Okay, two. <laughs> two. two. So I gotta make one five up. Came all this way to feel this. No, oh, no! Oh, wow! Nick saves all of the Mutalith's attacks! My Sentinel Chainsaw, sitting on fours. I hit all three times. Uh, he's tough as 10. I wounded you once. Here's my five up invuln save. Here's my five up feel no pain. Nope. How much damage do you Just do? Just one. Just one. Oh, but it's down to one wound. He almost killed it. Well, that was a heck of a round one. There is a pile of glue in front of the Land Raider and some barbecued Krieg troopers, but not much else. That Mutalith is on its last tentacle, but still not a great round for either player. Carl has managed to score three on cleanse and five on secure no man's land, so he leads as we head to turn two, eight to five. All right, round two. Next turn two, he's drawn storm, hostile objective, and defense stronghold. This unit of Kree has a medic in it. They all get D3 guys back. They get one guy back. The Kazakin are giving themselves first rank fire, second rank fire. Ursula Creed gives her unit the same as well as take aim. The Marshal gives take cover, and the tank commander is gonna give take aim to both those other tanks. The Cadian Castellan also gives out take aim. Nick scores five on primary, 10 to eight in his favor as we head to his movement phase. Uh, what is like four or five units coming out of reserves? Nick seems really preoccupied with deep strike denial. However, he needs to be mindful of those scarab occult terminators. I'm denying deep strikes over here. I've got a surprise for you. It's remote controlled. Thank you, ground affected, for making this for us. <laughs> Are you ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine how much longer a game of 40K would take? Hey! What's happening here? Nick's Rogel Gord is remote controlled? What in the name of Malkador the Sigilid is happening? That is so much fun. I want to go play with it. Can I play with it? Nick, let me play with it. Come on, Nick, let me play with it. And then the Demolisher Cannon is also going to use this opportunity to move up as well. So the sponsor of this episode is Deadly Prince Studios. They make all these cool effects and stuff like that. I forgot about something. Something exploded right here. I think we need a mushroom cloud. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Explosion happened, then it's just still burning. 
Movement phase is done. Shooting phase now. Carl using Weaver of Fates at the start of the shooting phase here for two Cabal points. That's going to give a reroll to any Thousand Suns model within 18 inches of a Psyker to save. So that could be clutch to save his command point. So the Sentinel is going to declare this Rhino as its daring recon ability, so I get to reroll ones when I'm targeting this Rhino. The Exterminator splits fire. Heavy bolters go to the rubrics, and the big guns of the Land Raider slowly chipping away at it. Auto cannon into the tank. I've hit you twice. Fives. I wounded you once. To a two up. I did. With a That's five. totally fine because now you're an additional minus one for anything else that shoots at that unit. I'm gonna shoot the last cannon. That also hits. It's a lethal hit. You roll four, yeah. four bet. That's all. Yeah. Heavy bolters into this unit of Marines here, yeah. and three wounds. A three up. How about I make them all? These casters are gonna split fire all over the place. Grenade launchers can fire a crack grenade into this Land Raider. The plasma guns are gonna fire into this unit of Marines back here, and the guy right in front is gonna fire a melt of mine at this Rhino. I'm gonna fire the crack grenade first, hitting on a three, and so that's a wound. Need a five or better, though. No. A D3 damage, and it does one. Taking me from 14 to 13. The plasma guns, so I'm gonna overcharge it, and because of first right fire and second right fire, I get three dice per plasma gun. Three, and I wounded you three times. Okay, I make one. And it's two damage each. Last pistol. Sure, why not? Hits, and it wounds. Five yeah. up. I make it. Because I hit this with that crack grenade, I'm gonna then use Ursula Creed's once per battle round ability to do a zero CP stratagem on these guys. Fields of fire, which gives an additional AP to anything that shoots at this. Okay. So anything that shoots at this will be an additional minus two. And because I used a stratagem on this unit and it has a Vox caster in it, on a five up, I get a free command point. I don't. Yeah, we're gonna go with all of Ursula Creed's unit right now with their take aim and first rank fire, second rank fire, and they're all gonna fire into that vortex beast. Most of them are in rapid fire range, which means they're gonna get three dice each. Oh wow, the Mutalith goes down. We hardly knew you. That's some sadness, but the hazardous happens and a dude dies. This big unit of guardsmen is gonna fire everything into this unit of infantry right in front of them. Take aim, so everyone's hitting on threes. But they also get lethal hits because they stood still. Also, because the Cadent Castellan attached to it, get sustained hits. And he also has an enhancement to give critical hits on fives. So both sustained and lethal will happen on fives. So let's start with the auto cannons. <sighs> Those are lethal hits, and then sustain gives me two more. I hope you enjoy yourself. That become three wounds at minus one. Four ups. So two are dead. And then the plasma gun shots. Now these don't have first rank fire, second rank fire, so they only get two dice each. Still overcharging though. Four hits. <laughs> oh wait, your T4? Yep. Three times. So we're looking at five up in bones. Two guys go down. Uh, one take hands two. Another hazardous test succeeds, and those rubrics are getting popped here. Two crack grenades, two hits, two wounds. He's dead. <laughs> Losing that guy reduces my ritual points by one. Anguish on the fire is one main gun, right at the oh. Land Raider. Heavy bolter at Armon from here. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> and then the Vanquisher giant gun, don't get me a one against the Land Raider. That is a hit. That's not a wound. Command reroll to wound, and it fails again. One command point left for Nick. Demolisher Cannon is gonna fire a big giant Demolisher Cannon at this unit. Heavy Bolters are also gonna go into that unit. The Laz Cannon into Armon. Demolisher Cannon gives me five shots. But there's only three guys left. Three times, because I did not take aim on him. So on twos, three wounds at minus, I believe, three. Going for their five up end bones. Yeah. Oh. Each one does D6 damage. They might not be all dead. Okay, kills one, kills two, yes. kills three. Yeah. Oh wow, a second rubric squad is dead, oh no. And then the last cannon arm on, see if I can't snipe him off. That's a hit, and that is a wound. Armin is four up in bone, so here it goes. Yes. I'm gonna fire the Gatling gun into the Land Raider. Everything else into the Rhino. I reroll ones against the Rhino, I have an additional AP2. The big giant oppressor cannon. D6 plus three shots. That is six shots in total. Hitting on threes because of take aim. Hit all but one. Four wounds. I'm saving on six. I know. Out of <laughs> one six. Each one does three damage. That's nine wounds. Yeah. Down to a four. That land raider is getting pounded. Castigator Gatling cannon. Plus threes. Strength. Hitting on threes. Six is to wound. Yeah. 
Three sixes, four ups. I make two of those, one more wound. A four to a three. Everything else into the rhino. The heavy bolters, and the heavy bolters hit you lots, and they don't wound you any though. Coaxial auto cannon, hitting on twos. One wound for him. I make it heavy stubbers thing, but I probably should have fired all this in the land raider. Uh, this is true. One wound on the rhino, no minus. He's good. I've got a plasma gun, and I've also got a crack uh, grenade. The plasma overcharging. Does he kill himself? He's fine. Crack grenade. That's a hit, and that is not a wound. Charge face. I'm gonna charge that land raider. Rough Rider charge, and the exalted sorcerer kills two in Overwatch. Fight face again. Weaver of Fates for two cabal points to give a reroll to save for a thousand suns model. Hitting you on threes. Or are you missing on ones and two? Hit them all. Yeah, girl, oh, they all hit. Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't really need one to go through. Two go through. I need sixes. I need box guards right here. Just... Nope. Two fives. Well, one of those, use my two cabal points to reroll yeah. one of them. Give yourself a six. Hopefully. No. Nope. Oh, the land raiders still die. Those horses are legit. Any guys inside, they could get damage on a one. So one Terminator has one wound. That's the end of my turn. Big, big turn for Nick there. He's managed to storm hostile objective and has defense stronghold ongoing. 15 to eight for Nick as we head to Carl's turn two. You have so many reinforcements <laughs> coming in. Up to six Cabal points for Carl. He's drawn Assassinate and Engage at all fronts. And he's chosen again lethal hits for his psychic weapons. 15, 13 in Nick's favor. Carl's really losing assets here, but he's not lost. He's got lots of reserves to come in and the Terminators are gonna smack something hard. I'm ready to start moving. Now I'm gonna bring in some reserves. <laughs> More flamers. You guys thought like, oh, there's no way Carl can win. He's got nothing left on the board. But then boom, 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 boom. <laughs> My shooting phase. Aramont's once per game free Cabal ritual, choosing Twist of Fate, arguably the best. No armor save for that Dorn. Will be this last cannons into your local <laughs> Dorn. It's hitting on threes. Yeah. Oh no, all of the Predator's shots have missed. Oh no. Dude, you should have killed it. Oh, starting here. Uh, four shots from the Rhino. The Rhinos are chewing up those troopers, but the door just, ah! Uh. Armin is gonna snipe out this the character. character. Right here. Hit you with these mind bullets. Hits on twos. Whew, thank God. <laughs> goes to a six, but I have a five up and vulnerable save. I have four wounds though. Okay, five up and vulnerable. No, it goes through. D6 wounds. So let's see if he kills him. One wound. Command reroll from one wound to three, and still that Castellan lives. One wound remaining. Woo. Exalted Sorcerer. He's going to fire at this unit, though. Uh, he's going to use Arcane Fire. Ignores cover, Psychic Torrent. The D6 attacks. Three. Uh, two wounds. Twos. I rolled a one on two, so uh, All right. kill two more. Kill two more. <laughs> Terminator's now under the dwindling guard blob. Starting with the uh, Heavy Warp Flamer. D6. Three. Looking for threes. Two's the order of the day. AP minus two. All right, that uh, just goes right through. Uh, so I'm gonna take, oh, now I gotta start taking off special weapons. Oh, Voxcaster's gone. Inferno combi bolters that these guys have. Only a couple of them are within the rapid fire range. Wounding on threes, wounding on threes. The most dice I've rolled in one attack this game. Wounding on threes. Oh man, did Steve touch Carl's dice? All go through. Kill, Kill three, three more. more. Kill both grenade launchers and that last Marine there. Flamers, Flamers in the back are going to fire their uh, flickering flames there at uh, the guys in cover. So 3d6 you number good of chance attacks. of wiping this whole squad. I sure hope so. <laughs> oh no! It's okay? I, I have no words. I, I have no words. No words. Four hits. So wounding on threes. Three wounds. I got none, you've killed three. Flamers are gonna fire in the Yeah. Yep. So here's the number of attacks. If <laughs> there's anything like last time. A little bit better. Wounding on threes. Seven there. Six ups, because they didn't know cover, right? Kill the squad. Ah! Ah! 
the pinks go into the Dorn and scratch the paint a bit. The pinks go into another Sentinel. Six wins remaining with the Scout Sentinel. Rubrics into the horsies, only two horsies left. Charge phase, this could be big. Exalted Sorcerer on disc into the Kazer Cannon, he's in. The pinks charge the Sentinel and they fail. Terminators into the Rogaldorn, succeed. Rubrikai into the Rough Riders, they're in. Let's go ahead and start so I can see how badly I've made a decision here. They hit on threes, they're gonna wound on fours. One wound, no AP. Uh, goes through, I've taken one wound. So here comes the force weapon, hitting on threes. Two hits. Okay, wounding on threes. Perfect. What's the AP on it? Uh, minus one. I save it. <laughs> you know, let's just do the Thousand Suns Rhino. Nothing. Twos is the number of the game. Uh, my exalted sorcerer here is gonna attack the Kassertons yeah. with his force weapon. Hitting on twos. Wound on threes. Uh, they toughness Jeez. three? Wounding on twos. So three wounds. Yeah. Killed all, th all I killed three. three. Oh, the Terminators. Three attacks each. Here they go. We'll do the two against this squad here. And those three into the tank. So threes and threes is what we're looking for here. Three, hitting at AP minus two, they do two damage each. Right through. Yeah. And I have to take off a full base of one of the auto cannons. Let's start with the uh, force weapon, the psychic force weapon. It's hitting on threes, wounding on sixes. Come on, play on tabletop. Nothing. Six attacks from the Prospering Kope uh, Kopeshes there. Hitting on threes, and it's going to be wounding on sixes. Nothing. That is the end of my assault phase. I get to fight you back, though. Way, way better fight phase than shooting phase here. Nick's slapback is anemic at best. Only one Terminator dies. This is looking like a game, folks. Engage in all fronts is scored and assassination is kept. So we're looking at 16 to 18 in favor of Nick at the end of turn two. Turn three now and four Cabal points for Carl. Nick goes to three command points, Carl to one. Behind enemy lines and engage at all fronts, everything is coming up Millhouse for Nick. The Kazra can fail their battle shock test. The Rough Riders succeed. Creed orders take aim and first rank, second rank fire, and take aim on the tanks and the commander. Nick scored 10 on primary, 28 to 16 is where we're at. Moving phase. Kazra can have fall back and succeeded their desperate breakout. The infantry squad fall back and they die. Nick's gonna spend two command points to reinforcement and Carl will overwatch for his command points, potentially getting his assassinate and he does. Well done, sir. These guys might as well move because I have sticky this objective from this unit when I controlled it. So they're gonna move up. These two guys are gonna fall back to here. Now they can fall back and charge. That's gonna be the end of my movement phase. And I'm gonna bring in so much stuff. So we're gonna take Where would you a like Sentinel. <laughs> Let's go back there within six inches, as close to your guys as I can. Could you help me with all of this? If you could put those back there. Shooting phase. Two Cabal points on Weaver of Fates, allowing Carl a failed save reroll. He's down to two remaining. At the beginning of the shooting phase, I can pick units with the two Sentinels to reroll ones against. This unit of pink horrors is reroll ones against. This unit of marines is reroll ones against. I'm gonna start with a unit right here of guardsmen. They're gonna fire everything because they don't really have another target at this rhino. So one of the plasma guns, overcharging, of course. It hits, it wounds the rhino. Minus three. A six up. You have cover. Uh, five up. So All right. Enough. Two damage. Take damage. Two does damage. he blow some, himself up? He does not. Launcher crack. Crack, miss a, a crack grenade hits, does not wound. Flaz guns. Sixes Tough. to wound. Tough is ten. One six. One, One wound, Three no up. minus. Makes it. All right, but I'm gonna use of the zero CP stratagem from Ursula Creed to fields of fire onto that rhino. Anything else that shoots that rhino will be an additional minus one. The Lemurus Exterminator is gonna fire his guns and he's gonna fire into the Predator, Predator. with his Laz cannon and with his auto cannons. With his heavy bolters, he's gonna fire into these cores. So I hit Much you better. twice. And the other one becomes not a wound. Just one wound. Four. 
makes it. All right. And then the last gun. That's a hit. And that's a wound. Need a six here. Come on, Siege. Oh, so close. A D6 plus one damage. That is four damage four. for you. And then the heavy bolters into the pink horrors in front of them. Two sustained and lethal, so those become more hits. Okay, so three wounds at minus one. I'm just gonna roll four ups all day. Or I'm gonna fail two. Oops. On four ups, they become blues. Yes. They're so hard to kill. Having destroyed those two pink horrors, I have rolled and four blue horrors spawn as a result. They split and tear through the warp. Yeah, yeah. Auto cannon from the Sentinel yeah. into the Predator. Two shots, a uh, lethal hit because it didn't move, and it does wound, and now it's gonna be at minus two because I have the minus one on it from the exterminator plus it's regular minus one. I'm gonna make that save on five. It's this giant unit of infantry, and they're gonna fire everything in there. They have take aim, so plus one to hit, and yeah. first rank fire, second fire, so a bunch of extra dice. Wow, Nick really hates pink horrors. First, I'm gonna do the plasma guns. Overcharging. Uh, he hits once and wounds once. Or up and vulnerable. Nope. No. And then does he kill himself? No, he does not. Do a frag grenade with yeah. the grenade launchers. Five. Three hits. And it wounds you twice. Four ups. Two ones. And then a whole lot of las guns. 40. On threes, re rolling ones. Okay, so on fours, the wound. <laughs> All right, and wow, that's actually not that many. Well, 13. For fours. Five. Oh! Which is interesting. It's not enough. I didn't do it! So now I'm looking for eight four-ups to see how many blues are gonna come out. I'm gonna get six blue horrors out there. All I did was give you more guys. I'm gonna go with a Vanquisher Cannon. He's gonna fire all three of his side guns at this sorcerer. And he's gonna fire his Vanquisher Cannon at Aramun. He's gonna kill both of your characters in one round of shooting. Nick calls his shot here and he whiffs into Aramon. Command reroll fails again. When will he learn that the Vanquisher just doesn't work? All right, heavy bolter into this character. Delta Sorcerer on disc dies. Oh no, no more Weaver of Fates. Demolisher Cannon is gonna fire his Demolisher Cannon. I'm really sick of Armon. And the Heavy Bolters are also gonna go into Armon. Armon dies too, oh no! Robot Thorne's gonna fire all its blast weapons into Predator, all the rest of its weapons at the Terminators. D6 plus three shots from the Oppressor Cannon. Three, four, five, six shots. It is hitting on fours because of take aim. Three hits and wounds you twice. Six is to avoid that. <laughs> so six total damage. It's down to one wound. It's down to one wound. Let's see if I can finish off these Terminators with the Gatling Cannon, for instance, for 12 dice. That's a bunch of lethal hits because I didn't move. Seriously, Nick just rolled six sixes on 12 dice. Like, what? Two ups. Make them all. Uh, two auto damage shots. Wounds once at minus one. Good. You're good. Bolters, on fours, one lethal, one sustained. Two wounds at minus one for the heavy bolters. Make them both. And a bunch of stubbers. Stubbers. One lethal, two wounds, no minus. Do it yet. Nothing. The only thing I have left to do is all of this that's gonna go into here. Yeah. Horsies can't yeah, fire because they fell back. Fun. Plasma cannon from back there. We'll kill uh, three guys. A hazardous test. He's fine. Oh, I do want to hazardous test for these two weapons that fired over here. There, oh, he takes three wounds, so all of this into here. Charge phase. The horsies make their charge. The blue horrors are getting charged. And then in the fight phase, I'm gonna choose this unit first. So 11 guardsmen into these blue horrors. On fours. Ooh, they're scared of these horrors. They only hit you three times. They're, they're tricky to hit. But I did wound you three times. Two saves, one dies. On a four up, they split. Okay, so then we'll go to this combat over here. The two horses, one's got the goad lance and hits you once. Rubrics on that home objective are now dead. Terminator's now no effect. The blues kill a couple of guardsmen. So that's my turn. Nick scored both of his secondaries and jumped out to a 38 to 21 lead here. This is starting to look tough. 
Carl's got to spend his command point on new orders. He's drawn no prisoners and deploy homers. Both are entirely possible, and he scored five on primary. Still only 12 points in this game. 38-26 for Nick. Here we go. Lots of work for Carl to do here in his movement phase. He's got to stop Nick scoring, as this game is still well within reach. So moving the Flamers to be in range of the objective, but hiding behind the building. Oh, Nick overwatching with the Demolisher. He's out of command points, gets one hit, and kills the Predator, and it explodes! Oh, wow! Only one mortal, though, but still, that's just insult to injury. We're gonna do some shooting. So here goes into the Rough Riders. The Bolter, Havoc Launcher into these guys. Number of shots, five. Three more for having more than 15 guys in there. Threes. So when you're on threes, four wounds, no AP. On fives, you killed two guys. Bolter into this guy, four. hitting on threes. <laughs> Wounding on fours. It's a wound, right. AP minus one. Save it. The bolter's gotta kill this guy. This is gonna fire into these guys. <laughs> For whopping two shots, two hits, strength five. Oh god. <laughs> this is the yeah, bull yeah, turn to him. Ah, oh, jeez, so he's no, I swear. Looking for threes. Two, two wounds, AP minus one. On fours. Uh, save one, one goes through and kills him. That dead lone Krieger scores Carl two no prisoner points. Pinks are gonna shoot everything into there. I get to roll a lot of dice. They are hitting on threes. They're wounding on threes. You shot. Seven, eight, nine. So on sixes, I get two sixes. So the flamers are firing into the squad there. This is the number of shots. Seven. One, two, and four. Come on. This is our strength four, so wounding on threes. <laughs> four. Kill two more. We're going into the charge phase. Charge phase now, and we're going to charge in the rhino into the horses. It can't fail that one, even with the two. Oh, what? You definitely, definitely tried. But you do get in. You are two inches away. You're fine. Listen, here come the flamers. All right, that's a four inch charge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. I I have no words. Um, dude. Whoa. And that's a foreign charge for the pink horse. I roll five. Okay, well, <laughs> oh my goodness. Fighting. Rhino's gonna attack. Hitting on fours. One, One hit. That's all you need. That's all you need. Come down to this. On three. There you go. I got a four up save. No, you've killed one. You've taken the objective. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'll take it. Are... <laughs> they get one attack each, but I'm gonna whittle them down. Go for it. Yeah, one. I, I you kill one. Ongoing yeah. combats over there. Pile in. <laughs> Ursula Creed is gonna hit you three times, yeah. and then she's gonna wound you three times at minus two. I'm just gonna make a four up save. And I'm gonna lose all three of those four up <laughs> Hitting on fours. <laughs> Seven wounds, no minus. Looking for fours. Four, three, four. Almost got the squad. Oh, uh, five of them come back, so I got five brimstones. To see if they explode. Yeah. Two explode, oh. attacking the blue horse. Fives, nothing, one, go fours. Yep, one wound. Nope. Brimstone horse, also was hitting on fives. One hit, fours. They do, do get two attacks, I'm sorry. So I get four more attacks. Sorry. One more potential wound. Yeah, two wounds. Uh, kill another. Two more, actually. The Rogal door and see if you can kill the Terminator. What, one wound here. Two up. Man, hitting, hitting on threes. Six hits. Looking for sixes to wound. Nothing. Four attacks from the fourth weapon. I'm looking for sixes to wound. I'm sorry, dude, but I'm gonna do a melt lance into your rhino. I don't hit, though. Okay. That's turn three. End of turn three, Carl discards deploy homers to gain a command point. He did score no prisoners for three points. He's sitting at 29 to Nick's 38. Nine points in it as we head to Nick's four.
Nick Scrut investigates signals and bring it down. He's ordered to his tanks to take aim again, but the Dorn has got the move, move, move. I'm gonna take some Battleshock tests with the Horsey. Fails. This unit of Guardsmen, can they pass? They fail as well. Score five points for holding this objective. Five points for all this to give you a total of 10 points on primary. I'm gonna try to fall back with that horsey. Rough Riders have died to desperate breakout. Well, at least that's something. The Sentinel's gonna move up to threaten that objective there. <laughs> Beep. Shooting phase. Fire. The Vanquisher Cannon is gonna try to kill that Rhino in the back. Got one big giant gun. I haven't done it so far, but I have hit on a three. <laughs> Come on, boys! It wounds! Kills the Rhino. Three bring it down points. Oh, one Terminator dies as well. Hits you four times with plasma guns. Wounds you nothing with plasma guns. And they don't kill each other with plasma guns. Crack grenades. Misses. Sentinel into the flamers. One shot. No hits. So that's it. No fighter charge phase for Nick here at all. And he's sitting at 52 points, discarding its signals for a, a command point. He's got 27 secondary, 25 primary to 10 and 19, which is 5229 as we head into Carl's turn four. He's hard up against it, but really, it's still in the cards here. He's got overwhelming force and extend battle lines. Extend battle lines he's already got. Can he kill something on an objective? Flamers trying to hide, and they do so. Flamers are gonna breathe into the center. Hey, right. there you there go. go. 15, five, here. The woes continue in the shooting phase. This is like watching a train crash and you just can't look away. Oh, these dice rolls. Carl, I feel for you. Yeah, why not? Here's the two bolters into him. One hits, one misses. So that's a wound. I save it. And this many rockets. <laughs> two. One hits, no wound. The Terminators fire into that squad in front of them. Terminator Sorcerer is gonna use his warp smite, hitting on threes. All hit. Two wounds. Flamer. Two. Feel no pains against these. See? Two of them. Fire. Two hits from the bolter. Two wounds. Wounds on threes. Yeah. Uh, don't save either. Five but feel no pain. Uh, save one of them. Terminators are going to charge into that squad there. The Terminators go into Nick's home objective and manage to kill a few more guardsmen. Ursula's squad is still held up, and the pinks smack the guardsmen. End of turn four, 52 to 39 in Nick's favor. And looks like they're drawing Nick's turn five secondaries. Yep, that's it. That's where they're gonna call it. Eight secondary points are gonna be guaranteed for Nick. That's gonna put the game out of reach and that's where we're gonna call it. 62, 49 final for Nick. What an amazing fight. What absolute grace under fire from his opponent, Carl. Gentlemen, that was Genuinely fun to watch. Get to do Victory Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Victory Donuts! Explosions everywhere, remote control cars. Been a great game, it's been a great experience. All the guys here have been super fun, super fun to play with. Thank you so much for coming all this way and playing with us here in the studio. I can't wait to have you again. Thank you so much for watching, thank you for your support, and thank great, you Carl great so stuff, much for coming Dude, in. I really I had, appreciate it. I had the best time. Congratulations, Nick, and tough luck, Carl. Can't wait to have you back for a rematch. That would be fantastic. Special thanks to both Carl and Nick for an amazingly well-played game, and to Deadly Print Studios and their new range of STLs for the Leviathan box set. Add depth and interest to your battlefield with these super cool special effects. Deadly Print Studios has got everything you need to bring your battles to life. And a big time special thanks to you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider supporting us through YouTube membership or Patreon. You'll get exclusive releases as well as behind the scenes interviews, early access to most of our shows, and access to our Discord, the most happening 40K community around. That's it for all of us here, folks, at the Play On Studio. On behalf of everyone, this is the voice of Play On JT saying, until the next time you see us in the far-flung future of a grimdark universe, play on! Yeah.